and diving into Rep. Elise Stefanik's remarks with your own values and mindset, several key points stand out, particularly in relation to transparency, accountability, and protecting the national interest. <clears throat> Tomorrow, House Republicans are honored to host at our special political conference, President Donald J. Trump, where we will discuss how Republicans will work together to save America from Joe Biden and far left Democrats failed leadership that has caused skyrocketing and painful Biden inflation, the historic Biden border crisis, surging violent crime, a weakened national security and chaos around the world. This week on the floor, House Republicans are delivering on our promise to hold the Biden administration accountable when we bring to the floor our resolution to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress for refusing to comply with our subpoena and release the audio recordings of Joe Biden's interview with special counsel Robert Herr. It's time for Merrick Garland to stop stonewalling and release the Biden tapes. Additionally, we will bring to the floor the National Defense Bill for FY25. And as a senior member of the House Armed Services Committee, I'm proud to have helped craft this legislation, securing critical wins for my home district for Fort Drum, the 10th Mountain Division, and all of upstate New York. This bill also includes significant investments in emerging technology, provides for our military families, equips our service members with modern capabilities and platforms as they fight to protect our nation and deter our adversaries. I also want to quickly touch upon yesterday's deposition of corrupt former disgraced New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, whose fatal nursing home order resulted in the deaths of over 15,000 innocent seniors dying in nursing homes. This was a long overdue step for those families who are still mourning the loss of their loved ones in New York State. We will continue to fight to deliver justice and accountability and answers for those families who are still grieving. Thank you to Chairman Brad Wenstrup of the Select Committee for making yesterday possible. With that, I'm honored to be joined by my colleagues today, and I want to turn it over to Mark Alt <laughs> Alford will be talking about the National Defense Bill. Mark Alford from Missouri. Elise Stefanik's strong emphasis on holding the Biden administration accountable and demanding transparency about the refusal to disclose Biden tapes resonates deeply. She insists that Merrick Garland should cease obstructing justice and comply with the subpoena. Viewing this as vital to upholding the rule of law and ensuring government accountability. We champion a broad agenda tackling issues like inflation, border security, and defense, recognizing their critical importance to the nation's well-being and security. These discussions also highlight individual responsibility and authentic leadership. Stefanik's arguments on transparency and accountability underscore the House Republican Party's dedication to responsible governance. We value the focus on specific actions, such as the resolution of contempt for Merrick Garland and the enactment of the Defense Authorization Act, interpreting these efforts as reflections of genuine and principled leadership. In-depth discussions on how demands for transparency and accountability bolster trust and confidence in political leadership, like the Biden administration's handling of economic and security issues and addressing past injustices, such as Governor Andrew. Cuomo's nursing home order. Tap into the psychological need for justice and effective governance. These endeavors to hold public officials accountable and tackle urgent national issues reinforce public belief in the significance of principled and effective leadership. <laughs>